So I saw this story on 9to5 Linux today, and uh, as you can see, Raspberry Pi OS now supports Epson printers, drops Adobe Flash Player. So let's apply the new update. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom here uh, and go to the official website, there is a download Raspberry Pi OS, but let's go to the official website where it's got a list uh, of everything that's changed. So we have a look here, Raspberry Pi OS with desktop and recommended software, and there's some release notes here. So hit the release notes and you'll see this top bit. So Chromium is uh, now a newer version. Uh, screen reader support is enabled in Chromium. Adobe have end of life flash player, uh, which is, isn't a bad thing. It wasn't, uh, it was becoming less secure and wasn't being supported by Adobe. So it's a good thing that that's gone. Unfortunately, Scratch 2 required flash. So that's been taken off, which some people will be disappointed about. Uh, there's some bug fixes for audio here. I know a lot of people have been having all sorts of problems with audio. So hopefully that will make that better and more compatible. There's also a bug fix here for Chromium video playback uh, locking up on a small number of devices. I haven't really had that, um, but, uh, but we'll give that a test in a minute. And uh, Google Maps 3D view artifacts. Well, I haven't really tried Google Maps in Chromium, so I'll have a look at that as well. And there's uh, some new Raspberry Pi firmware as well and a newer Linux kernel. So let's update that. I can close this down now. So press Control-Alt-T to open a terminal and then we'll do sudo apt update and then sudo apt full dash upgrade and hit yes. It does take quite a while so uh, a lot of changes are being implemented. Okay so that's all finished now uh, so I'm going to do reboot. Okay so that's all restarted so in Chrome if I go back to this list uh, so the things I wanted to look at I, I've actually had about sort of 20 minutes trying to get the screen reader support to work and I can't find it anywhere. I found various different support pages for either Chrome or Chrome OS or Chromium and all sorts of things I've tried. None of them seem to be that intuitive, which is weird because on my iPad or my iPhone, I can literally just select text and select read and it works. And apparently lots of other browsers have got it. So Firefox apparently has got it built in. I've not tried it on that. But uh, yeah, whether because it's so early, I also checked I had the latest version of Chromium. So 86.0 ending in 197. So if I do about ending in 197, yeah. So I have the latest build, but uh, I just kind of expected I would be able to select some text and then from a menu or to right click that text and have a screen reader, but it isn't as simple as that. Uh, and you think as an accessibility feature, maybe it would be just, just there as standard. Uh, this is not a thing against Raspberry Pi OS, um, but, uh, but it, yeah, you, you'd think that it would be a nice, simple feature. Anyway, let's go back to that list. And uh, the two things I wanted to try, so Chromium video playback. So let's go to my channel, and that looks like it's playing all right. Uh, so it's running at 720 at the moment. Let's go to 1080. Yeah, and that appears to be playing all right. So let's try Google Maps 3D view artifacts. So Google Maps, let's go to New York, maybe satellite. Let's try and drop myself into Central Park. Bit hard to work out from that. Maybe I should have uh, zoomed in a bit more. Okay, so that's the street view bit. Got a nice spot there, didn't I? I think someone obviously walked to this bit with the camera, didn't they, to uh, to do the street view. Right, let's go back, because it's obviously not that that's the 3D bit. Uh, must be this bit here, so uh, enable globe view, zoom out and see the world in 3D. Okay, so let's zoom in. Okay, so it's working on the 3D, but it's uh, it's very, very slow, um, and uh, and it really struggles with it in quite low res. So I don't know how usable people will find that, because uh, it can look amazing on on some devices. But I've been waiting for this to load up, and it doesn't seem to be wanting to load up. But it's not glitching, to be fair. Um, but uh, but yeah, there are better ways to look. Oh, that's the I watched a video on that the other day. This this very thin one in the middle. Uh, yeah, this one here, this skyscraper is one, I think it's the thinnest skyscraper or something. And uh, yeah, it looked, it looked really, there was, uh, someone was showing one of the properties inside it. And they've, they've got this view, which is incredible. 
So one thing definitely worth doing if you're trying to improve the performance of the Pi 4 or 400 without uh, overclocking is to just lower the resolution of the screen. So in this case, if we go to Preferences, Screen Configuration, uh, Configure, Screens, and then just drop it. I usually drop it down to 720. It's still HD, still looks all right, and just hit the tick. So you can see that it looks a bit softer on screen, all the icons are bigger, but it does mean that you get that performance boost, whether it's for games or in this case, uh, Google Maps, it's gonna improve performance. Okay, so it does work better. Uh, it is definitely moving around better, but you still don't get the sharpness that, uh, that you would want to be able to see detail, but it does give you a good idea of an area. And as you can see, the performance is definitely better at 720 rather than 1080. So I haven't got an Epson printer to try. Uh, I've only got a wired one, which is about 10 years old, but my HP printer has been supported for a while and uh, it just shows up. So if I go to print settings, uh, there's nothing else you have to do. It just detects it on the network and then when you want to print out in a document. I use it quite often with Twister OS, which uses the same as this uh, and it does work very, very well. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Uh, I'm glad to see that Raspberry Pi OS is getting regular updates and lots of bug fixes and things like that. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.